Will Tustin be the emperor of the Empire League? Can Los Alamitos win a big game without running back sensation Nick Richardson? And is modern day really back? Hello again, everybody. Welcome to OCVarsity.com. It's time to talk about what's going on this week in football with Dan Albano, Carlos Arias. Going to take a quick look at some of the big games. Let's start with a Thursday, do a chronological. Pacifica against Tustin. Now, this is a big game. That Empire League, that Empire League's been ultra impressive so far, guys. I think they have the best one loss percentage of any of the leagues in Orange County during non league play. Pacifica's got that pretty good passing attack. Tustin's got the good running attack going. Kind of like a mixture of styles here, as you guys say in the fight game, Carlos. So go ahead, Carlos. Who do you think is going to win this game? What are you looking at? Okay, first of all, the Empire League with five top ten teams in the Southwest Bowl. That's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. I don't remember the last time a league had that many teams, like, you know, dominating a division. Um, I, I think Tustin's uh, grounded pound attack, 395 rushing yards a game. That's going to be unstoppable. So, so you got Tustin. I, I got Tustin. I got Tustin. Danny, you agree? Yeah, I, I, uh, I think Tustin will win. Okay. I'll be interested to see how close this game was. I was a little surprised last week after you know Tustin has this big victory against Orange Lutheran, you know, kind of shocks some of the the Orange County football world, and then they have uh, they have some struggles with Beckman. Yeah, and uh, that that surprised me. Uh, I know it's you know maybe emotional come down um, after you know you know it's hard to stay sharp every week, but uh, I think Tustin will win. It would be interesting to see uh, Joel Willis from Pacifica match up against some of those fast kids from Tustin. Um, he's a very good athlete both sides of the ball for Pacifica. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if Pacifica is looking for a big play or they're going to have to change some momentum in that game, Joe Willis is going to be the guy committed to uh, Washington. Yeah, I think we're all in agreement here. You know, that but Tustin ground attack with Tyler Sadinsky mm -hmm. running the ball. They're going to control the game. They're going to control the clock. You know, Pacifica throws the ball so, go, so well with quarterback Mario Nava and Johnson and Willis. But I really think that uh, I think Tustin's going to, you know, grind it out. Yeah, the question is they can't stop him. That's the problem. Yeah, so it's <laughs> Yeah. It could be a pretty high-scoring game. Should be a, yeah. a lot of fun. <laughs> Sometimes Tustin stops itself. That, yeah, that's, yeah that's, they've that's, had, they always have fumble problems early, but yeah. they, they fix it up later on. Going on to the Friday game at Orange Coast College, modern day, coming off the big victory against <laughs> San Clemente. Yeah. And now they've got to play Edison, another pretty good team that just lost by seven points against Servite. Um, the big thing for that we're going to have to look at, of course, fellas, is Edison quarterback Chase Favreau. Is he going to be okay? He's yeah. got that messed up tendon in his foot. Kind of looked like a high ankle sprain at first, but now it's a tendon. That can be pretty tricky stuff for the young man. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go with modern day because I don't think Favreau's gonna play. Yeah, you know I I mean Victor Blackwell and Max Whitick look like they got that combination working yeah. again. Um, so I think you got to go with modern day. But we're starting to agree on every game just like last week, and we got, we got our clocks clean. But go ahead, <laughs> Dan. What do you think? You know I think you know modern day obviously. You know, that's a question. Was that the real modern day we saw last week against San Clemente? Was it, you know, offensively, Max Whittick got his 300 yards. Uh, Victor Blackwell was out at 185 on the receiving. Yeah. I think just as impressive was the modern day defense, you know, which, you know, showed well against uh, Carson to open the season, but then they, you know, took a step back against Centennial Corona, which is maybe an unconventional test for them with the option. But uh, I think modern day can get the victory. Um, I think it's going to be a pretty close game. It'll be interesting if Chase Favreau plays because, you know, he, he's a kid who transferred from Modern Day. Sure. I'm sure he'd love to play well against the Monarchs. But, you know, you got to remember, you know, Edison's got to remember league play, that's where it's going to be at. Exactly. You know, if you Favreau got, plays, they got a shot. I mean, they totally got a shot. they got a shot without him. I mean, that kid Torgerson, you know, he, yeah. he would look a little shaky through a couple of passes. You know, he never should have thrown like that one across his body. Oh, I almost got intercepted. <laughs> Some crazy stuff like that. But, you know, he's got a full week of practice. I think he'll be better. And, He's going to be a, good, a name to watch down the line. Now, heading straight yeah. over to the Saturday game, yeah. Los Alamitos against Santa Margarita at Ooh. Saddleback College. That's very interesting. Now, Nick Richardson, we know he's not playing. See, that, that's a problem right there because Nick is their offense. I mean, you know, I'm, Best Ligard, offensive player in the county so far. I, I thought he was the the uh, you know preseason you know pick for the player uh, of the year offensively. Player in the county so far offensively has been Buzzy, maybe Buzzy Yokoyama. Yeah. But okay. Nick hasn't had a couple well, games here yet. Yeah. yeah. So he's, uh, you know, he's missing games. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Buzzy's um, definitely in the buzz talk. Oh, he's in the talk now. Yeah. So anyway, looking back at this game, you know, Santa Margaret is hot right now. Yeah. Boy, those kids are believing themselves. Coach Welsh has, has got them believing themselves. I tell you what, I'm going with Santa Margarita in this game. You know what, if it weren't for fumbles, they would be undefeated. I mean, they should have won the Rumble at the Rams, to be honest yeah, with you. Against right. the yeah, they dominated that game, but yeah. they fumbled it away. So, you know, they, they got that under control. Everybody's playing for Harry Welch. I mean, obviously the guy knows how to coach. He's got this team, you know, 
fired up and ready to go every game. Yeah, what, so, he got eight CIF titles? I know, I think he knows how to do this. Yeah, man knows how to blow the whistle. I think he knows how to do this thing, but okay. I'm going yeah, with Margarita. I'm going with Margarita. I'm picking the Eagles. You know, I think uh, they're looking for a big game. Uh, they don't, you know, I don't think Santa Margarita wants to go 0-2 against the Barnes family. They already lost to Brian Barnes and Tesoro. <laughs> right. You know, Los Sal, uh, you know, Cody Paul's a good running back as well. The name to remember at Los Sal. They can still run the ball. Cody uh, could have a big night. Um, but I think, you know, Santa Margarita's going to win. You know, this is a big game for Harry Welsh because, you know, they're coming in the bye week. He said all along that he was going to have his prostate cancer uh, surgery right during the bye week. It's coming up very soon. Yeah, Monday. This is his last game before that. So they're going to be pumped up. And, uh, you know, uh, in, in Los Al, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised they haven't thrown the ball more with Dylan Lagarde, who looked great during the summer to me. So um, maybe uh, Los Al can make some progress on the pass game. Yeah, and Los Al is also missing a linebacker, uh, Joe Locker, who's not going to play. Yeah, he went down the Coach second. Barnes half. told me that that guy is the heart and soul of their defense. Well, it's a tough guy to replace. So a lot of interesting things. You know, Los Al is a little bit up against it in terms of the injury factory, fellas. Uh, and we all agree in the three games. And as you say, we got our clocks clean last week. Well, that's bad news whenever we agree on everything for everybody we pick. So I'm sorry, guys. Which one did we blow the worst? I don't know. It just happens when we agree on everything. I can't remember. <laughs> I don't remember where my car keys are. I don't try to remember when we blow it. So. <laughs> exactly. Good call. Well, we, picked, we picked Mission Win. We, mission won against Polly. Yeah. College Bridge for a great offense. Oh, San Quentin Modern Day. Yeah, we picked yeah, Modern well, Day. I picked Modern Day. I saw that comment, please. <laughs> That was okay. one. Yeah, okay. Well, hopefully we're uh, well, three for three together on this <laughs> hey. one. So those are our picks for the week. Uh, we will have uh, coverage of all these games. So many great games coming up uh, this week, week four of the football season. So uh, we've got all that going on. Keep up with the updates. Thursday with Carlos, Friday with myself here at OCVarsity.com where we've got you covered.